And then maybe if you can, as we are going to work a lot with grammar, maybe it's okay if I then uh, post the class and that's it, right? Okay. Yes. Uh, how did you yes. start the year, Mika and Sebas? How was it? Um, great. It was a good start. It was good? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Very good. I remember, Mika, you said that you had your mother's birthday around the same day. Oh, yeah. It was the 29th. Ah, the 20. Ah, the 29th. Okay. Okay. So it, it, they were two se separate celebrations. Yes, but okay. it was a, a lovely, a lovely time. Oh, that's very nice. Very good for you. Well, people, let's start. Uh, okay. Sevi, could you watch the movie? Uh, yes, yes. I uh, I wake up earlier to, today to watch it. No, really, today? Oh my God. Uh, yes, I have to do some things, but I, I couldn't because I I just have to watch the movie, but I did it. Okay. okay, well, I will just ask a few questions about the movie. Okay. Um, okay. What do you think about this? Uh, do you think that book lovers have uh, quality, share common qualities? Um, yes, I think, Be but not in in all cases. Okay. Because it's it's depends yeah. in what kind of books uh, you read. Okay. Oh, interesting. What do you think about Mika? Yeah, same. I mean, sometimes they differ about opinions about the same book. But okay, but this regarding or not taking into account, which is the same, this regarding the genre, the genre. Uh, think about book lovers. At least some qualities we share, don't we? Yes. Mm, yes. Okay. Yes, do you agree? Yes. Okay, what can these possibilities be or these qualities be? Um one I'm thinking now it's uh, that our um we are culture people. Okay, very good. We have uh, another kind of um uh, learning. Okay, interesting. Mika? Um we like to I don't know, go to another. I don't, know. I don't really know. <laughs> no, but go to another what? Go to another city and visit the bookstore. That is something that I have done uh, all my life. Right. For example, if I go to, I don't know, I went to San Martin de los Andes in winter and I, of course, visited the bookshops and I bought books. Right. It's like you are searching some missing thing that you have. Or I remember myself when I was younger, uh, or oh, younger, going to the coast. <laughs> and every holiday I went, I remember myself going to the bookstores, right? Just searching for new material, for old books or uh, things that I have never seen, or classics, or I, I tend to go to bookshops. Right? Hmm. Do, do you think yeah. that? No, tell, tell, tell. No. And another thing that I think I do, you tell me if I'm maybe you think it is a common quality. Every time I go to a house, I do pay attention to the books I see. Right? I don't know. Yes. I you yes. you you see a bookcase and you sort of peep and you say, oh, yes. what is that? Right. Oh, who, who is that author that I have never seen? Uh, I, I tend to do that. And many people... Maybe yes, don't. it's normal. It's normal. Okay. Yeah. So and many people maybe don't pay attention to books at all, right? No, of course. Okay. Well, um, do you ever feel uh, that you know an author through their writing? Mm, no, no, I don't. Okay. I don't read too much. Just to, to must... feel that. Yes, I must uh, write. I love writing more oh, than reading. More than reading. Great. Yes. Okay. Mika? No, you said no. Sorry. Okay. No, no, because... Because? 
Oh, because when you're writing, you're not telling yourself the story. I mean, someone else is telling your story, and and you're just not saying who you are. It's different. Okay. From you. It's different. Okay, I I think you you may slip some characteristics or some thoughts, even though you don't want, but you still are you. I think. Yes. I think. Yes. Yes. So there are some things that are inevitable what were your first impressions of dozy remember dozy yes um i think uh, that i thought that was a good person okay interesting um mika who, who was she i don't know Dozy is he is the the guy who has the pigs, oh. the the the, yeah. the one who who wrote who started the connection yeah, I with thought Juliet. He was a, a nice guy. Okay, interesting. Yes. Okay. Uh, and what about Amelia? W what were your first thoughts about Amelia? The typical grandma. <laughs> oh, okay. Mika. She was nice, I guess. Okay. D d didn't you feel that she was a little bit secretive? Yes. Yes, of yeah. course. The beginning, like you, he, not something hidden. I wouldn't say something hidden, but that she was not trying to let go of many things. Yeah. And she was reserved. That's all. Yes, definitely. Okay. Yeah. How is... Uh, Thinking, coming back to Dozy, how do you think he was different from the other men in Juliet's life? He was poor. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, that's for sure. What else? Uh, can you repeat the question, please? How is Dozy different from the other men in Juliet's life? Um, it's it's obviously uh, that. Dulce, it's more um it's more like Juliet than the other men. Oh, very good. As regards book, you mean books? Yes. Or literature. Yes. Or, okay. Yes, or they're like connecting. Uh, they're connected by books. Okay. Nika, what did you say? That like reading, they have something in common. Definitely, they have something in common. Very good. Um, whose lives? Uh, are changed no I don't want to go with there um, what do you think about this this is general question does the reader's taste in books reveal anything significant about his or her personality mm. we're talking about writers right we're talking about readers Readers, uh, yes, of course. I think, I think. Okay, it's true. Mika. Yeah, I guess. Okay, you're not very sure. No, but yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, one more question, and we are. I'm going to ask you more questions on Thursday for sure. Uh, in what ways are Juliet and Elizabeth? kindred spirits you know that the meaning of the word kindred spirits write it down if you don't want if you don't know right kindred spirits uh i know what kindred is but wait a person who has the same options uh, opinions feelings and in, in interest as you yes, yes. when you are kindred spirits uh, is how can I? Is that of course having like the same feelings that you feel that your souls are very very similar, right? Yes. That's why kindred spirits. So, in what ways, or maybe you think they aren't? Marky, could you do me a could you do me a favor? Can you bring my glasses? Thank you. Uh, in what ways do you think they are uh, kindred spirits, or maybe if you think they aren't, they aren't kindred spirits you can tell me um i didn't 
get it. You, if you think Juliet is the writer, and yes. Elizabeth is this girl that uh, uh, helped. Oh yeah, it's Kit's mom, yes. Elizabeth. I guess they are really similar. Like they have the same opinions. Okay. Oh, I don't know they. They are something reliable, we'd say. Okay. Interesting. Thank you so much. Yes, it seems like in Spanish, como que tiene una idea ella. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very good. Okay. Um, what does Elizabeth's spontaneous invention of the society say about her approach to life? Mm. This is a very deep question. Remember at the beginning that she was they were surprised by this German yes. people and the soldiers actually, and she sort of in on the run she invented the yes. um, this society, the society, right? Mm. But then yes. the society became real, very real actually. So, <laughs> yes. uh, what do you think uh, this invention of the society say about her approach to life? I mean, her way of living. Mm, I she don't know. Really clever. Sorry? Is she was really clever or very good. She's definitely very clever. And apart from that, anything else that you can say? I think it have to uh, it's connected to the war feeling that uh, they were all alone. Definitely. So it was people that they only know uh, it was Elizabeth or yeah. yes, they, they, they didn't know each other, but no, I they, think they knew each other from the uh, no, it's, it's, it's said, it's said in, in the movie that they didn't uh, know each other. Yes, but the con uh, they they all have ah, connection Elizabeth with Elizabeth. Elizabeth. The only connection. Yes. Connection. Yes, you're right. Very good. The and the feeling, the the war feeling. It's it's what makes that they were more connected. Okay, okay, very good. I love it. Uh, last question, and then we're going to go next Thursday because I have many others. Um, numerous Guernsey residents give Juliet access to their private memories of the occupation. You know, Isola, she told her story or her part. You know, Evan, Evan, the, the, yes. the, the, the yes. old guy, he, he said, we see his perspective. Um, Dossi, we have his perspective. So uh, which of them or which story is for you the most touching or the most memorable or whatever um i think the the um, i forgot the name of the grandma um amelia amelia the grandma yeah <laughs> she the was grandma. really touchy but definitely she was definitely I think that she she's in deep deep pain and sorrow. Yes, of course. Yeah, and she suffered a lot. She she suffered a lot, definitely. So well, well, very good people. I'm glad that you watched the movie. That we have so many things to talk about, uh, uh, with this movie. And uh, well, we're going to start working, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. I, I wanted to play a game, but I don't know. There, give me a second. Okay. Okay. Just, this is a game, but just to start working right just to i don't know keep this going after the holidays i have prepared look i will show you so that you know here 
here you go. There. Uh, look, we have, you know, this game, Stop. Mm, but we're yes. not going to play it. I think we're going to play it on Thursday so that we are more and it is a bit more fun. And apart from that, this is too many, many things. So we're not going to play today. I want to work more grammar, but we are going to play this. We're going to play like this. You are going to type the correct option. Yes, on the chat. It's one, two, three. Yes, it is always one, two, three. So you don't have to type many, many things. And let's see who wins, right? Okay. So, Mika and Seba. Okay, number one. You have this word, this word that is approximately. You have to say which one is the correct spelling. Okay. Okay, very good. Oh, well, can we tell it to you? We are only two. <laughs> oh, no, but uh, yes, but uh, still, if you type, I think it's better. Oh, okay. Well, it was. Uh, oh. Okay. Mm. Okay. Number three. Ah, no, 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 no vamos a poder jugar. No, 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 no. No. No porque están subrayadas las palabritas. Tengo que... Uh, eh, you, can, tengo que you can... I know, I have to ignore the correction. Or make a, a TXT. A text uh, you make in your desktop of your computer. Yes. Um, right click. New. Uh -huh. And text documents. Uh, but this is a slide from Google. Oh, well, but you can make it in your desktop without oh. a correcting and ignoring. Ah, without all ignoring words. all the corrections. Okay. Yes. Okay. Never mind. We, we will play. Don't worry. But not today. Es una, es una extensión de Windows bastante precaria, así que no te lo va a corregir. Ah, mira vos. Oh, es que so sí, es para, escribir, es para escribir cosas así al momento. Very good, excellent. Well, people, we're going to start working. Uh, okay. We're going, you know, that we have to drill a lot. Tenemos que hacer un montón de ejercitación. We're going to go with a book that you have in the Google Drive. Eh, ambos tienen acceso a la carpeta de, de Drive, ¿o no? Yes. Yeah. O sea, sigue siendo la misma de siempre. Yo no la cambié, así que... Ve. Simplemente lo organicé, dice Google Drive y dice, ahora les voy a volver a mandar igual si quieren el... Um, eh, in this classroom. In, yes. Get link. I'm Here. sending you the link just in case. For everyone. There you go. So for the ones that are going to listen to this, this is the uh, first certificate Google Drive. There you have it. You have it in the group. And the book that we're going to use today is called Improve Your Skills, Use of English for First. Yes? Um, I where? <laughs> I, I lost. You are lost? Yes. It is in the Google Drive in Extra yes. Materials. Uh, extra Material, okay. Yes, and the name of the book. But I'm going to share everything today, so you don't need to... Maybe oh, just for in case. later, just in case, yes. For later you can, but now we're going just to work together, okay, okay. right? Yes, that's okay. The, we're going at, today we're going to work on um, part one of the test. Do you remember what is it, part one of the use of English? Yes. What is it, Mika? Uh, you have to complete. The ones that you have A, B, C, D, and have to complete the ones that are more uh, likable to be in the blank space. Very good, excellent. What are the words that are generally tested? Or what kind of words are generally tested in part one? Mm -hmm. 
For example, are we no. tested on prepositions? No, no. Um, no? no. I mean, you will not have to choose a preposition. The words that you have are generally verbs, nouns, adjectives. Yes, that's they are what content, I... content words. Yes, right? content. content words. Okay. Yes. Of yeah. course, sometimes if it is a phrasal verb, for example, you will have the preposition in the rest of the text and you do have to pay attention. So they are testing us in phrasal verbs, idioms, set phrases, collocations, the words that are together, right? Yes. That is what yeah. they are testing. So this is what we're going to practice today. First of all, we're going to just start, look at the picture and tell me what are the volunteers doing in the picture? Um, Give building. Me a very good. What do you think they are building? Uh, I think it's uh, a vase of something. Okay. Mika, I don't know the... You... Yes, it's the like word. the... Sorry? Like a barrier? A what? A barrier. A barrier. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Like a dam? Como si fuera un... Oh, I don't know the Spanish for dam. Um, I was thinking yeah, it's, I it's more. I I I was thinking it's more the the base of a floor. Okay, so you mean the the foundation. The, the foundation there is. What okay. we say los cimientos, the foundation yes, of yes, our yes. building. Okay. I Very couldn't good. remember the word. Yes. Okay. Foundation. Would you like to do something like this in your free time? No. Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. Thanks. <laughs> you know that. You know that. Um, uh, Sclavas, Sclavas school. Now the, the there are a group of girls that are working uh, in Santiago del Estero, and I don't know if they are building houses like this, but they they worked for this organization that is called Techo. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Yes, really nice, actually. Give me a second. Marco! Okay. Sorry. <laughs> this is to be... Don't worry. Sorry, my bad. Um, so you wouldn't like to do this, right? No. Okay. What types of voluntary work do you do people often do in our country? Do you know any kind of voluntary work? Um yes, in downtown you can uh you can say downtown without in. Okay. Um downtown you can um take trash of the street. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, what yes. else? In parks uh, and that kind of places. Oh, great. Excellent. What else can you do? Do you know? Um, no, I don't know many. I think that there are many voluntary works here in Argentina. We can, yes. for example, work in a, I don't know, in a children's uh, place and... I don't know, children because of the apostrophe, right? You know, children is plural. Um, or you can, uh, I don't know, collect Firefighters. Things. Firefighters. Firefighters are voluntary work. Very good. There are also a group of nurses or people yes. who are helping nurses in hospitals. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know if in every hospital, but I know, for example, in Posada's hospital, that you have this group of, uh, let's say, nurses that are just voluntary work and they are helping people and um, I think we have many um, and also we have Medicos Sin Fronteras that is also a voluntary work yes. um, what types of voluntary work no what might people enjoy about doing voluntary work um, helping other people yes very good helping other people being that's part just of something being part of something, that's great. Big, big part of the change, very good. Excellent. Okay, people, we have to start. Exercise one okay. and two, and we correct. Okay. okay.
Sí. I want you to pay special attention, not only, of course, to uh, joining the two parts together or matching in number one, the parts together, but it's important that you pay attention to the words that are actually together, that collocate. For example, in the first one, the phrase to work miracles, right? So where would we use this or what is the meaning of this? Because it's not a literal meaning, you know that. When you say you yes. work miracles, it's not that it's a magic person, right? It means that, what is the meaning? That the, those are the things that you need to pay attention to, right? The phrases okay. that work together, because that this is what you need for the test. Okay. okay.
Okay. When you finish it, tell me. Yes, I'm in exercise two. I finish. Very good. Me too. Are you writing down the phrases? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, good. Number one. Um, D. Okay, yes, but remember I love the phrase. We love yes, the chef, phrase. Chef managed to work um, miracles by uh, organizing the events uh, in under an hour. Very good, short time. So tell me. <laughs> Uh, can you give me any other example of working miracles? Um, Think about someone who can work miracles with something. Okay. Mika, Everything. I know you are a football fan. So how would you use this phrase with Messi? Um, well, Messi knows how to work, oh my God, to work a miracle by... Work miracles? By oh, uh, playing. Very good. Yes. Excellent. By playing or by, I don't know, um, avoiding the, the, the rivals, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I know nothing about football. I'm just trying to use it in an example that is real for you. Okay. Number two. Um, yes, I would be able to spend your time doing something you love. Very good. To spend your time doing some. So the phrase here, of course, it is to spend time. I think we know yeah. this one. So don't worry. Number three. Um, Maria, Maria prides um, herself on helping others. Very good. Yeah. So what is it when you pride yourself? Like you do something that you really love or you enjoy doing. Yes, but it's not the that is not the the meaning. Yes, of course, maybe you do enjoy it, but when you pride yourself, <laughs> what is the meaning? What is pride? Um that you are proud. Exactly. That is the meaning. And you that yes. you're proud and you say it. Yes. You are proud of what you do. You think it is something uh, worth doing. Right? Okay. So okay. now try to use it. Um, think about yourself. I'm proud. <laughs> I no, pride, I pride myself on. I pride myself on. Uh, no, in English. <laughs> Very good, excellent, Sevi. Um, I don't have any. Yes, think about it. You will. Um, I will not let you go. So you think about what you are good at. We are wasting time. Um, and pride yourself about it. Um. I pride myself. Um, <laughs> I don't know. You are good at, I, I will tell you something. 
uh, you are good at repairing uh, computers. Why don't you say it? I pride myself on. Well, yes, yes, it's gonna be. I pride and myself on repairing computers. It's a big deal. So you need to pride yourself on that. All right. Okay. That's Very right. good. Number four. Oh, uh, B. If you yes. have time to spare, could you help with the chores? Very good. Now, uh, complete the phrase. When I have time to spare, I. Oh, better, even better. Whenever I have time to spare, I. Uh, whenever um, I have time to spare, I watch TikTok. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Well, it's real. Or, or maybe no, it's I can okay. say reading. I can say reading. So I, no, I, I, was, I was even, I was thinking more of, okay, whenever I have time to spare, I read a book or watch. Well, uh, I read a book. I read a book. Uh, okay, very <laughs> good. Okay, but it's okay. Come on, don't go with my expectations. You, you say an example that is real for you and that's it. Sevi. Whenever uh, I time to spare, I. Yes, whenever and I have I have to time to spare, I play video games. You see, okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the last one. Um, Jason, wait, I have it here. Wait, uh, Jason thought he kill a uh, time by reading magazines while he waited. Very good, excellent. When is it or in which occasions do you kill time? Or oh, we are expected to kill time. When we are waiting for something or we are bored. But yes, but tell me an example. For example, at the doctor's oh. office or I don't know, at the yeah. hairdressers. Uh, yes? I start, I start walking. Oh, around. thank you. Oh no, but that is so. It's uh, anxiety more than time killing no, time. No, no, uh, I, I. It's more uh, curiosity. I ah, start okay. watching things. Okay, good, good. Okay, and number two. Um, one, you can do this kind of work if your heart is not in it. Very good, excellent. Okay. Use your heart in it, is in it. I will say okay. my heart is on teaching, in teaching. I will say my heart is on writing. Okay, in writing. Your heart is not in, in it. Oh. Okay. Um, my heart is... In? Uh, uh, my heart is in... Um, now carrying myself. Excellent. Very good. Terry felt more uh, at impulse on the voluntary training. No. No. Okay. Is. Uh, is yes at ease and the phrase write it down is at ease, right? Yeah. This means that okay. you feel comfortable, right? in a certain position. So Terry felt more comfortable, right? On the volunteer training course after he got to know his tutor. So, um, can you use a tease in a phrase? I, I don't know. Imagine, uh, uh, no, yes, it, listen. Imagine a situation in the past, yes, when you started something new. Maybe school, maybe English, maybe whatever. And think about the moment, because we all have that, when you started feeling more comfortable in that place. Yes? Or in that oh, school. In my case, uh a starting gym okay good Start so training. you started training so when yes. is it that you started feeling more at ease the first day i i went to the gym 
Oh, very good. Excellent. Very good. Give me a minute. Oh, yeah. Perdón. Si el tamaño son dos hojas a cuatro. Eso, perdón, que mandé un audio, pero estoy en clase. Si el tamaño, o sea, si son dos hojas a cuatro, o sea, el tamaño es como si pusieras dos hojas a cuatro, está bien. Okay, very good, I'm sorry. Uh, at ease, you said the first day you felt at ease? Yes. Okay, can you say it? Um, but listen, also the with, the, with, with the exercises, with the, because at first, even though, I don't know, every time we start a new activity, I mean, I wouldn't say it's difficult, but at first, it's, it's, when you have two or three days, then you start feeling at ease because, I don't know, you get used to it and your muscles start getting, right? Yes, of, course, of course, but I started uh, at my house doing exercise. Ah, okay, well, it's the same. I, d I, I didn't feel that ease. Okay. But when I, I start training in a, in a real gym, gym I right. I feel that is very no. good. Okay, Mika. Um, I think when I started learning uh, English, okay, last year I feel at this. Okay, very good, excellent. Number four, no, number three. Number three is oh, look. Oh, uh, oh, it is love. Okay. It is love, yes. okay, is so love. here we can say many things that we do just for the love of it, right? Like watching movies or reading books or speaking English. Everything, everything. Yeah, reading, I would say, reading Very good. and music. Very good, just for uh, the love of it. Writing. Very good, just for the love of it. I didn't know that part. Very good. Number four? Which part, Miss? <laughs> that you write. Oh yes, I I told I told it, but no, but not this is it. this year or not? No, 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 no. When did you start writing? In when in the middle of my journey in secondary school. Okay, so wh what do you say when you were fourteen, fifteen? Yes. Okay. And now I I collecting ideas and and to to write something interesting and, and big. Very good. Like a like you mean like a novel or yes. what? A novel, yes, yes, yes. A novel. Very good. She joined Greenpeace. In both. Uh, very good. On, sorry? On Impulse. Very good. After reading their leaflet. Have you ever done something on Impulse? Yeah. After, yes, for example. <laughs> yeah. Everything? No. Um, um, no, of course I'm not. I'm impulsive. I don't know. If I feel something, I tend to do it. Okay. You get, you get uh, enthusiastic and you do it. Yeah, maybe I'm saying something. Like what I think. Okay. That's not good. Um, but <laughs> okay, no, well, but I think that it it is very uh how can I say? It is very common that when we are younger we do many things on impulse, right? 
and then we start of sort of thinking a bit more about stuff but it's only normal what yes. about of course there are yeah. many many people that are acting all the time on impulse yeah but, it's uh, it's like throw a uh moneda a coin, a coin. It, in english we would say but yes but it's not throw in english we would say flip a coin yes okay yes toss, it's like flip a coin or flip yes. a coin yes it's very it's good it's okay and the last one is time very good from time to time what are the things that you do from time to time i buy books from time to time mm. yeah i do say time to time too. mean uh, i do it once in a blue moon. in a while <laughs> yes i don't know i would say every two months every three months oh i i don't know no um, no i'm not i don't have the 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 habit no yes. but, you, but you do have habits so you can say anything that you do from time to time i don't know i go down yes of course but i i i really don't know i don't no know you can even cosas. use no, 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 but you can, no but you can also use it for everyday stuff like for example uh think about something that you don't eat regularly and you can say, okay, I I did, I generally don't eat ice cream all the time, so but I do it from time to time. Oh, um, go go and outside alone. Okay, but you do it from time to time. Yes. Great, Nika. Buy books. Buy books. Yeah. Okay. How's your Kindle working? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Would you look at the other day? You know this app, Bookbub. No, I I don't know how is it, but I got a really good uh, offer to buy a Ken Follett book that I. It's an author that I really like, and it was the price was two dollars. So I I wanted to buy, but then I. Uh, but uh, if I buy a Kindle book and I don't have the Kindle device, can I read it still? Mm, no, I, I think. Can no. I can I transform it into a PDF? I think I can. Yes, you can do that, but well, yeah, you can. Okay, but I know it's not the same. No, of course, but you can read it. Okay. You transform the PDF. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, because EPUB is the the app that you use in Kindle, right? Yeah. The file is called is called EPUB. Yeah. Okay. And you need to transform that into a PDF. Okay. People, two exercises. No. Uh, this one, very easy. A a piece of cake. And then we're going to go with this one that I love. Yeah? Okay. Okay.
I finished the first. Okay. Second. Yes, yeah, me too. The first is very easy. Let's go. We can do it on the run. Come on. Okay. Okay. Um, Are oh, you well. interested? Okay. Are you interested Are you in? No, listen, 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 listen. I'm interested. Did. Interested. Did. No, interested. Interested. Very good. It's E, right? Don't be afraid of that, right? Okay. When you listen to the sound, because you know, your brain is telling, I know, your brain is telling you, no, es una E. ¿Cómo vas a leer una E como una E? But it is in trust, que no hay casi vocal, and interested. Interested. In, interested. Very good. Interested. Are you interested in participating in the LGBT community? Very good. Uh, if you have got some times, uh, some some time on your hands, or or if you can possibly uh, make time for our event, our, we'd love to see. Listen, you. it's our event. Okay, our uh, <clears throat> sorry. Our event, we'd love to see you this weekend at the community cleanup sponsored by the town council. Very good. Volunteers will meet in the main square at 9 p.m. and all supplies will be provided at the council. Help us out and take pleasure in knowing that you make a difference to the town. It's uh, it's high time we made it a cleaner place to, uh, place to live. Very good, excellent. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay, people, we're going to work with this. Of course, you will have to choose a word, but uh, I will also work on the meaning of the other words, right? For example, the work has to be finished today at all costs. That is the phrase. So we're going to work with the phrase that is... The phrase is not cost. The phrase is at all, at all. costs. That okay. is a complete phrase that you need yes. to write down and remember. And of course, we're going to work with the meaning of the other word that is there, that in this case, it is expenses, right? I, I want you to tell me what is the difference, all right? Okay. 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 Do it. I'm going to check. Sorry, my keyboard is too loud. No, at no. this very moment, I'm not listening. Are you right? Okay. Yeah. yeah, right now, no, but i just asking. I heard it before, but it's okay. Okay, okay.
I finish. So do we agree that here we have uh, three kind of uh, prepositional phrases, right? We have yes. the ones that are with at, the ones that are with by, and the ones that are, that are with for, right? And any? Yeah. Which which is any? Uh, H. Ah, but it's by. By. By, ah, by, by. any. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, Sorry. the preposition yes. is always a. It by. was at, yes. at, at, by, 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 four, 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 right? Yes. Okay, or, well, maybe not the, in those exact numbers, but sort of. Okay, yes. let's go. Talk to me. Uh, shall I start? Yes. Okay. He felt completely uh, um, at this ah, well, telling of course, other... sorry. We didn't talk yes. about expenses. Where or when would you use expenses? I don't know. Well, we know the phrase is at all costs. Really? What is the meaning of at all costs? Like it at doesn't matter. Costa, in <laughs> ah, what? yes, but the explanation is it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you would be doing. Or how. Or, yeah. It doesn't matter what takes or how you do it, but you have to do it. Yes. Today, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Number, and what about expenses? What are expenses? I don't know. Taxes. Sorry? Taxes, like you have to pay them. Yes, but not, not taxes. Taxes are taxes, but it's similar. Oh, okay. Yes, it's money that you spend. Yes. But if you say, for yeah. example, I have to uh, do this, this, and this. Okay, what are all the expenses? What are, is what we call gastos expenses. Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay, okay, so number two, you were saying, Sevi? Um, yes, he felt completely at, at ease uh, with telling others what to do. Very good. We already talked about feeling at ease, right? Yes. Very good. Number three? Susie spoke at great wife about her charity, length. length. Now it is length. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Length. It is length, and the meaning is that you speak not only a long time, but also with great detail. When you speak okay. at, at great length, it means okay, you give all the the information that you need, right? Yes, I know it, but I thought it was with with. Okay, no, it's with length at great length. Okay, okay number four. We we must leave at now. Once. At once. Never at now. It's never at now. It is at once. Uh, and why? the meaning is because we we don't use a preposition with now. We say now we must leave now. Oh okay yes, I forgot. What about the meaning? What is at once? Eventually we must go. No, we not to. eventually. No. Actually, it's not eventually. It is right now. We must okay. leave at once means we don't have any other minute to spare. Okay. Okay. Very good. I'm so, sorry. So? So now. Okay. That is the meaning. We must go right now. That is at okay. once. Yes. I, mean, I would I say yeah. immediately. Yes, it's something that ends now. Yes. Okay. Number four, five. Uh, she canceled the appointment at very short notice. Notice. Very good. Meaning yes. she decided in the last moment. That is yeah. at very short notice or at short. 
you can say short notice and you can even use it like this for example i i generally use it when i tell someone the thing around the time say oh i know it is short notice right i know it is the short the time to spare but i'm not going or i i know it is short notice but can you come i know it is short notice yes yes, yes. okay what about yeah. number six six he can be be quite generous at uh, at times very good sometimes yes in certain yes. particular when you say at times you are emphasizing the fact that he's not always generous but uh -huh. only sometimes all right okay yes number seven. eight seven seven sorry no seven it was, it was... uh ah yes no. sorry <laughs> it was a great show by all accounts very good meaning i don't I, know it, <laughs> what is by I all accounts <laughs> like you just knew it it got it went but yeah. uh it has to do okay by all accounts, in every aspect, and everybody thinks the same. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Number eight. Um. Did you go to the fundraising? What is fundraising? Uh, an event that is done to collect money. Ah, okay. Yeah. Did you go A to the event. fundraising? Okay. Okay. Did you go to the fundraising event by any it by is, any it, chance? It is event event okay by any chance so is there a possibility by any chance yes very good by any chance means is there a possibility right that you did this all right mm. Mm. it was the best performance by far by far definitely yes by yes. far meaning that between the best and the others there is a big difference when you say mm -hmm. by far yes. I think we have the same meaning in Spanish, right? Por sí, lejos. Por lo lejos. Sí, por lo lejos. Okay. Afar, what is? Who is afar? I have yes. no idea, actually. But I, I think should it should be something related to It's far, similar. But lejos. with a different use. Sí, pero tiene que ser, eh, se usan diferentes, como wait and await. Yes? Okay. Because, for example, wait. You say, I am waiting for something. When you use await, you say, something awaits you. You see? At, uh, here it said that at or to a distance. For months, yes. he had loved her from afar. Right. You wouldn't say for far. Ah, yes, it's the noun. Very good. Okay. Lovely. The noun and the adjective. Yes. Uh, 11. Number 10. No, 10. <laughs> she learned all the words by mind. Heart. Why? By heart. Wait. I, we yeah. use it. Yes. We use it. By heart means what we call the memoria. Oh, okay. Don't ask me why. There should be a story for this, which I don't know the story, but the reality is that we always say by heart. It's okay. not to make it sense, but okay. <laughs> it doesn't make sense, I know. Well, many things don't. So, what about 11? He's friendly by nature. Very good, yes. by nature, meaning that it is your natural talent. 12. Uh, she caught him uh, by completely surprise. Very good. Completely, completely by surprise. By surprise. Yes, yes, Very yes. good. Here, be careful, because even though we have by surprise, which is the, the prepositional phrase, be careful with, because we use a lot, catch someone by surprise. Yes? Caught me by surprise. So write it down. Don't forget. Okay. okay. I mean, if you have two verbs, you can't just caught, right? If you have by surprise, remember that. Uh, number 13. Let's play cards for a change to pass the time. Very good. What is for a change? Okay. Like you, you know. Is it the usual thing that you do? Um, depends. No, no but yeah. when you say for a change, let's, okay, let's go. Imagine you always 
go to McDonald's and today say, well, let's go to Burger King for a change or let's eat pizza for a change or let's stay okay. here for a change, right? When you want okay. to say that you want to do something unusual. Okay, okay. 14. And they left the UK for um for for good to move to Asia. Yes, but you're not sure about the meaning. What is to do something for good? Mm. So you can left it behind. No. Well, yes, you do live behind, but I why? But for good means forever. <laughs> for a change. Uh, no. no, not for a change. No, no, no. Forever. No, no. Forever. Okay. Right? Okay. Yes. Right. Okay. Very good. And the last Just one. Wait here. Just wait here for the time being. Very good. This mean, for the time being means just this moment. We don't know how, how long it's going to be, right? For yeah. the moment. Very good. Prepositions our beloved oh, no. prepositions, people. Yes? Well, do two and three. Come on. Oh, we're working a lot. I love that. Sorry, I wanted to see what is the page that we are working. And today is January the 10th. Yes. All right.
I finished the first. Oh, okay. Okay, but I'm doing the, the second one now. Okay, do it, do it. Okay. We correct the two of them together. Well, I finished both of them. Very good. I finished both. Very good. Okay. Well, let's let's start. Uh, well, shall I? Of course, yeah. you should. Uh, he put the the charity cash taking it takings is in cha charity. Oh. Okay, charity cash. Charity is uh, we. <laughs> Sorry, he puts the charity cash takings in a box for safekeeping. Very good. Why did I underline yeah. some words? Um. I don't know. Who knows? No, but you should know by now. By now. Well, by now. Well, no, but why? Why did did, did I underline? Um, I think because these words always go with together. The others. Uh, yes, well. yes, they are all collocations, right? Okay. Or phrases, fixed phrases, or whatever. But that these okay. are the words that. So today you are not just learning the word; you are learning the phrase. We we get that, don't we? Yes. Okay. Yes. Why is it important that you do pay attention uh, to this? Because now you are completing with the preposition. For part two of the of the test, it could be the preposition that you need. And for part one of the test, maybe you have the preposition on the text and you have to complete with safekeeping or force or now or random. And how are you going to know? Because the preposition is the correct one. All right? Okay. All right. Very good. Many... Um... In many occasions, you are going to, uh, let's say, you are going to cross out, van a desechar, the ones that don't go with the prepositions that are in the text. Yes? So you will know that which is the correct answer just because it doesn't collocate with the text as regards prepositions. Okay. Yeah? Do, do you yes, understand? Yeah. Am I clear? Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So for um, safekeeping. 
They got the process to live by force. By force, very good. Um, it's not clear for me the third one, but they must have finished building the community uh, the community center uh, for now. No. By, now. by now. By now. Okay. Yes. Yeah. For now exists, but it has a complete different meaning. For now uh, means which... unstable. Ah, oh, okay. If you say, okay, you can't stay here for now. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Not for forever. now. Okay. And Perfect. by now is this. Pay attention to this. You have a timeline. Yes? Yeah. Yes. And when you use by now, you are here. This is your by now. And you use this to say that something here happened and is already done. You are here in the red spot by now. Algo ya okay. habrá pasado. Perfecto. Es como futuro perfecto. Remember future sí. perfect? Sí, 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 sí. Bueno, en este caso no es futuro perfecto, es speculation. Claro, pero el But ejemplo es el have mismo. finished, pero exactamente. Ok, perfecto. Mika, clear? Yes. Definitely. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, she couldn't make the event on account for for I of other plans. Of other plans, short of, of other, other plans. Look at this. Of other plans. Of other plans. No es ni una O entera ni una F. Oh, no. ¿Escuchan la F? Of other plans. Okay. Plans, not plans. Okay. Uh, each volunteer uh, was given a task a task to do with a partner who has chosen uh, by random. Who was, who was, who was chosen. Who was chosen by random. At random. At random. Why? Okay. At random. Definitely at random. Number five, one, two, three, four, five. Number six. Let's go to the volunteer meeting on foot. Absolutely. No, no, no. On foot. No, okay. it is on by foot. car, by train, by plane, by boat, yes. by helicopter, on, on foot. foot, always. Number uh, seven. I, I didn't do it. I didn't get it. Um, the bus drivers were on strike, so we took a taxi. No, no, no. He was so pleased with the community's effort. Oh, I will do it. He was so pleased with the community's efforts that he was um, by. No. No? On. Oh, yeah, on. 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 At a loss of, for words. At a loss. For what? Um, it didn't sound to me. But the and you know the meaning? No, 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 no. Meaning you that are you are speechless. Absolutely. Okay. Very good. You are speechless. Number eight. Uh, the bus drivers uh, were on a strike, so we took a taxi. Definitely. Number nine. The a worker has lived in India all her life, but she's British by birth. By birth, of course. Uh, okay, wait. Um, their daughter uh, had been volunteering in Colombia, so they haven't seen her for ages. Definitely, very good, excellent people. Okay, the other ones, number three. Uh, we'll notify you on approval of your application. Very good, excellent. Oh, why didn't I underline? It is on approval, of course. Yes, but remember it is on approval. That is the part that you need to remember. Oh, so this means on approval means as soon as this is approved, right? Okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Um, the second one. On behalf of all of us, uh, thanks for you for your efforts. Very good. On behalf is a usual phrase that we use all the yes. time, right? But remember the L is silent. So we say on behalf. 
behalf. Behalf, behalf, okay. Very good. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. number three. I come with you on condition to be early. Very good. On condition. Meaning? You have uh, like a rule, let's say. Right. It, will you do it if you don't leave early? Yes. Yes? Will, will you? We, uh, no. Yes. We well, don't, no. We, we we don't know what you want. Condition. You won't but... do it, right? If you don't leave early. So on condition means, okay, if this happens. Right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Number four. Uh, there are only three rescue workers on duty. Very good. This means that they have to work today. Yes. Number five. Uh, the difficult work has him on his knees. Very good. Yeah, of course, not literal. Number six. Uh, the costumes which the actors wore uh, were on loan. Very good. Lovely. Meaning they were not theirs. They have to yes. return them. Yes. Number seven. Uh, Tell me where to be shoulder on the limits of town. No, it's not on the limits. Oh. Bounds? No. Oh. Outskirts. <laughs> on the outskirts. <laughs> and the preposition is actually telling you that it is on the outskirts, right? This means in Las Afueras. Oh, okay. Very good. Okay, okay, okay. And number eight. I'm sure, wait, I'm sure that was no accident and she did it on purpose. Of course, this is a usual phrase that we use all the time. Yes, yes, yes. yes. The charity fundraiser features sign books and photos on birds. No. You know sale. that? Sale. On sale, they are on yeah. sale. Yes? Right, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, today's neighborhood cleanup start on I don't know uh, on started. Be careful with this. Started. started I on... read it, but uh, uh, on... yes. Schedule. Yes. Very good. Yes. You can. You have to wait to pronouncing this word. It is schedule, schedule, schedule. or okay. schedule, schedule. You can say schedule. the British one is schedule. But you will see schedule. that even now I say schedule because it is the most popular, right? Schedule yes, yes. is nowadays used everywhere. So number 12, that was the last one? 11. No. Number 11. 11, very good. Um, she was on good terms with members of the committee. Very good, this means good relationships, but not affection which, or love which? or friendship, right? When you are on good terms, it means we oh, have a polite terms, right? relationship. I mean, yes, you yes, don't yes. want to kill each other, right? But not that we're friends, right? If you say we yeah. are on good terms, it means we speak. Okay, yes. Yeah. Okay. Generally, uh, we use it to emphasize this, right? So we'd say, imagine you have a mother-in-law or a Whoever, and you don't have a really good relationship and say, okay, we are on good terms, meaning we don't love each other, but we speak. Okay. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Uh, the project was on the top. Very successful. No, this means completely. Uh, whole. On the whole. On the whole, okay. Yes, very good people. We uh, have so why? many phrases. Ah, it's on top on the whole. Exactly. Very good. Okay, okay. Very okay. good. Very good. Okay, recent, okay, recent. Yeah, it's okay. Th those are the things that you are your brain is actually learning. So those are the things that you need to remember. People, uh give me a minute. There. Okay. Four and five we're going to do. But this is really easy, so don't worry.
mean miss uh, what's the meaning of swing swing is i don't know here is this movement if it is a verb okay. yes yeah. yes and That's is it I a movement that. okay or uh, it can also be you know when you go to the to the playground you can have a slide you can have a swing La okay marca. Yes, yes, yes. Pero yes, simplemente no. por el movimiento que hace, right? I finish. Very good. Great. Mika, have you finished? I guess you will tell me when you finish. Yes. All right. So um in answer to your question about voluntary work there Listen, are several this phrase in answer to your question i really want you to write down because it is very useful for your writing this is a sentence frame 
¿Se acuerdan que hemos hablado de los sentence frame, el marco de la oración, esas palabritas que pueden ir en cualquier, esta puede ir en cualquier carta? ¿Sí? Yes. In yes, answer yes. to your question. Y no hace falta que esté en la introducción, puede estar en otra parte, right? No sé, un amigo te pide ta ta ta. In answer to your question, right? Very useful sentence frame. Okay, go on. Okay, there are several uh, programs currently in full advance. No, it is no? currently no, because you need advance for something else. Okay. I don't know. And it, the word is currently, which means actualmente. The, uh, the okay. phrase that you need here in full mm, means that they are very popular. Um, currently okay. in... Mika, do you have any idea? Uh, listen. Uh, what? Season. No, no, yeah. it's in full swing. So write it oh, down. Okay. In full swing means that they are popular and they are really working. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, I explain a few of them to you in, a, in advance. No, yeah. This means in a in a very short time and very specifically, meaning um like in a, a summary. In a nutshell, very good, very good. In a nutshell, you can use it all the time. So in a nutshell, we use okay. How was your trip? Okay, in a nutshell, excellent. Yes, that is in a nutshell. Very good. Then, of course, you are writing down all the words. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Right. Uh, one that may interest you is our weekly neighborhood cleanup, which in in particular involves picking up litter uh, litter in the streets. It's Why in not? general. In general, okay. Yes, okay. in the other unit particular. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, no. Go on. In general. Okay. In, in addition to Very this good. programming, we also have tree planting, which we do once a month. Very good. Tree planting and is taking place this Sunday and Saturday in the morning. Very good. Pay attention. All these prepositions are really important in general. In addition, in addition is another connector yes. that we can use yeah. every time we want to add an idea. So again, we have this phrase that is very useful for your writing, right? In addition to this, blah, 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 right? And you add yes. another idea. Very good. Then you have take place. Of course, we know a month, a year. Number six is okay. Number seven, take place. Remember, take place means happen, right? Yes. This happens. Yeah. Okay. Or is sí, happening. Sí, se dice en español también. ¿Tiene toma lugar? lugar en... Sí, toma lugar, okay. se dice. No okay. en Argentina, pero se dice. Okay, good. And start at eight in the... Morning. Morning. Very good. Remember, for all the moments of the day, you use in as a preposition, except yes. for night you say at. in the morning in the afternoon in the evening at night okay yes. do you remember that yes yes okay. very good now i still uh, get many people making mistakes with the times of the day, it's okay <laughs> this project well, is not this project uh, in in particular very uh, good. has has been very popular popular <laughs> Popular, sorry. Popular. Uh, we also got uh, programs for community gathering in which we plant a few crops in local plots done in season, uh, which is usually a spring or autumn. Very good. So for seasons, we also use in. You say in spring, in summer, in winter. 
Go on, Mika. You need to tell us in person. No, this means no, before in advance. going in advance. Very good. My advance. Very good. You can choose your name. I look forward. You can, sorry, you can just turn, turn up. Turn up means appear in the place. Sí, yes. pasarse por. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say pasarse por. I think that's very confusing. It's to appear in a place. No, I say, I said person. Ah, yes, it's okay, up. it's okay. Ah, it's okay. Yeah, I, I did it. No, I was just thinking, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I never listened to you. I was just emphasizing the phrasal verb, turn up, because we use yes. it. Oh, okay. okay. So turn up in person. I look forward to seeing you, beautiful people. And, okay, exam practice, go. You know how it is, right? You have a one yes, and you yes. have to go to one here and you have to choose the correct from the four, right? Yeah. I finish. Very good. I finish. Okay. Well, I will start. Yes, give me a second. Yes, yes. When you want. All right. Okay, go on. Okay. 
Um, hi everyone. Sorry, it's been a while since I last posted. I've been under um under pressure at work and haven't had a free moment to write. I've also been a, a been a bit under the the clouds with a call, but it's finally cleaning up, clearing up. It is no, it is under the weather. The phrase under is the weather. And, okay. and write it down. I I. Estuve en duda entre esas dos, weather or clouds, okay? Under the weather has this double meaning that we use not only for uh, health problems, we also use it when you are uh, feeling down or when you are a bit sad or depressed, you can also use under the weather because it means no estoy bien, yes? Okay, and no, yes. And, or we can say, oh no, estoy un poco caído because of this and maybe it is just an emotional problem but still you can use with both situations under the weather, right? And they use it okay. a lot. Okay. Anyway, anyway, I'm writing with regard. Very good. To what this is relating. Is. Yeah. Namely, namely, putting in a play for the neighborhood children. I spoke with the community center and they giving me the uh, impression. Very good. The project. Although there we go. Are, we'll continue. Yes, go until five and then Sebi will do the rest. All right. Until uh, I write down. Me. Although they Until are in the process. Very good of redecorating. And I don't know when that okay. will be finished. And uh, I'm not clear about that one, but uh, at any at any degree it's it's no, at any rate I don't know. at any uh, rate why yeah at any because it's a, set, it's a set phrase at any rate meaning that uh, like i don't know very soon or uh, i would say i want to say nevertheless but i would say oh okay okay de okay. cualquier manera Right? Sí, sí, ahí lo busqué, me hizo una idea. Ok, oh, perfecto. Okay. No, quería entenderlo más de lo que me estabas perfecto. explicando. Yes. Eh, y entre las, entre las diferentes traducciones estaba la de, la de como velocidad. Entonces, nada, lo, 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 lo conecté con lo que me estabas diciendo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Bueno, well, eh, I should, I should have more information from them. Eh, esta tampoco la sé. From them before, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, quick. No. We are speaking know. about here the period of time in which you will have long? the information. Yes, it's before long. Before, before long. long. Right. That is always before long or? Yes, you wouldn't say before short. And the others okay. are out of context. Okay. okay. Good. And the last one? Uh, I expect everyone uh, dying to get started, but there no, uh, there's no point us getting ahead of a schedule. Schedule. A schedule. schedule. Okay. Very good. What was the main, remember schedule? Yes? yes. So the phrase here is ahead of schedule, meaning start before you should. Right? Okay. Okay. The phrases in this text were under pressure, under the weather, with regard, give the impression, in the process, at any rate, before long, and ahead of schedule. These are, why do I say the complete phrase again? Ya lo dije hoy como 100 veces, pero lo vuelvo a repetir. Because uh, this is what you need to remember. Yes? You, you don't need just to remember pressure. You need to remember that pressure goes with under, so that in the text, if you have under, you know that pressure is the word, right? Okay, yes. Very good. Well, people, I think that's all for now. I will give you two or three exercises, that this, the following ones, for homework, and we correct them on Thursday, okay? Okay. Very Perfect. good. Okay. Okay. Uh, they are all short exercises, so probably I can give you like two pages. Is it okay? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, I think, well, okay. Yes. What? 
No, que yo mañana no voy a estar y las clases temprano, pero capaz que me vuelvo a levantar temprano para hacer la tarea. No, y hace la Ok. hora, ya. Ya Eh, no, es que tengo cosas que hacer por eso, es que tengo cosas que hacer por eso. Okay, I will give you just the link of the book and you work on pages. Look at this. Nine and ten complete. Ok, perfecto. Ok. Eh, lo estoy diciendo Okay. también y esto se va a grabar, así que no problem. Copy link. All right. Well, very good for you. See you on Thursday. All right. See you, miss. See you. Lovely. Bye. 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 Hola. Ay, ¿se me escucha? Sí, perfecto. Hola.